Hello, my name is Andrew Carapiat from Media Friendly. I'm a former BBC TV producer and this is how to prepare effectively for any and every media interview. They say, fail to prepare, prepare to fail. So preparation is key. First thing you need to do, if a journalist calls you up out of the blue, is to buy some time. So you don't engage in a conversation with a journalist on the record, on the phone, without any preparation. You simply say, who are you? Where are you from? What is it you want? When is your deadline? How soon do I need to get back to you? I'm in a meeting right now. Let me call you back in half an hour. Second thing you do, you speak to your press officer, should you have one, and you liaise with your press office. Then you call the journalist back in half an hour and you proceed accordingly. If you don't have a press officer, this is what you do in your 15 minutes or half an hour of preparation time. First thing you need to do is to prepare three key messages. Three things you would like to see about your organisation, about your story, in the local paper, on the local radio station, on national television the next morning. So three key messages. Second thing you need to do, add a couple of key facts. Facts are sacred, comment is free. So the reason the media have come to you is because you're supposed to know something about your subject. You're the expert. So that's why you have a couple of key facts. They give you authority. And the third part of your preparation is to anticipate the pitfalls. Anticipate the difficult questions the journalist could ask you. I'm going to show you how to do that now very simply, very effectively. Basically, journalists tend to ask the same six questions over and over again. And those six questions are covered by a formula, the five W's and the H. You may have heard that one before. Who, what, where, when, why and how. It comes from Kipling, Rudyard Kipling. It's over a hundred years old. He wrote a kiddie's poem, The Elephant's Child. It went, I keep six honest serving men, they taught me all I knew. Their names are what and why and when and how and where and who. So, The Elephant's Child by Kipling. I will go better than Kipling. I'll show you the order in which these questions come. Number one, what? What happened? What's going on? What are you doing? So they always ask what? Number two, why? Why did this patient die? Why did this accident happen? Why are you proceeding in this way? Number three, how? How are you going to do this? How are you going to achieve this? How did that patient die? How did this accident happen? They always ask what, why and how, usually in that order. With the how question, sometimes the journalist will tag on and how much will this cost, the how much question. So if you work for a council, it might be how much will this add on the council tax bill. So what's the damage gulf, effectively, is that question. So it's what, why, how and how much. I think journalists always ask those three key, those three key questions. The next question they ask is sometimes where. Where is this going to happen? Well, usually it's obvious. It's happening here. And that's why you've actually got the place, you know, of, of a county or a town on your press release. But the where question is sometimes quite tricky if you work in the planning department of your local council, because the where question could be about social housing. Where are these 200 extra houses going to go? And lots of people who, who actually live in that patch might say, not in my backyard, nimbyism. Where are the travellers going to go? Not in, my back, not in my backyard. Where is the incinerator going to go? Where is the sewage plant going to go? Not in my backyard. So the where question comes into play sometimes. The fifth question is when. Well, when again is a no-brainer. It's today. News is what happens today. That's why the press release is going out today with today's date. But when applies for delays. Sometimes councils or the NHS promises a new hospital or a new swimming pool or a new leisure centre and it hasn't been done. So you're waiting for a new hospital to be built, you're waiting for a leisure centre to be refurbished, you're waiting for a swimming pool to be cleaned and there are delays. So that's when the when question can be tricky. The final question is who. Well, you should know who you are. But I think who is the single most difficult question to answer, especially when it gets in, into tricky times. Because the question is, who is to blame? Who's to blame? We've all heard of a culture of blame, which the media allegedly plays. Well, who's to blame is the hardest question of all. There is good news. There are only six or seven of these questions to answer. There are effectively only six or seven of these boxes to tick when it comes to your preparation. So those are my key tips on how to prepare effectively for a media interview. I'm Andrew Carapiat from Media Friendly. Thank you for listening to me.